Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add animated falling snowflakes to your Divi WordPress website. And actually, it doesn't have to be Divi or even WordPress. This tutorial will work on any website, whether it's Divi or WordPress or not. Of course, we're going to be showing using Divi theme. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's a really cool, simple tutorial, and this uses no plugins, no JavaScript. It uses just images and CSS. So very easy to implement and very easy to adjust and customize uh, to make it even more unique for your own website. So we're going to be showing uh, three different methods uh, today for this tutorial. So the first one is adding the snowflakes to your entire website. And really quick, by the way, uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I recommend clicking on the, the link uh, that takes you to this blog post. The link is in the description because that's where all this code is going to be uh, that we're going to copy and paste. And so, um, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is show you how to add the animated falling snowflakes to your entire site. So the entire page on every page. And then we're going to show you how to add it to just uh, one page or certain pages still uh, top to bottom the entire page and then we're going to take it one step further and show you on just certain sections rows or modules so for example on this page as you can see here we've added it just to this full width uh, header module here uh, so that's very easy to do and then you can see, see also we have it in uh, the promo bar this uses our, our brand new plugin divi bars to add the drop-in uh, promo bar so you can add the snowflakes uh, to things like that as well so let's go ahead and get started the first thing we're going to want to do is copy this code and we're going to paste this in our custom css box and so i'm going to go over to here so there's lots of different ways to add css to your website if you're using divi like we are uh, divi theme options is definitely the easiest way you can uh, paste it into this box here. Let me drag it a little bigger. Uh, you can also put the custom custom CSS in your style.css file only if you're using a child theme though. So if you're not using a child theme then definitely use this method here that way when you update Divi it doesn't get overwritten. Uh, also another place you can add it is in the theme customizer. There's a custom CSS box there as well. So if you're not using Divi that's the best place to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste it here in its entirety and click save. And then I'm going to go back over to my demo website here, refresh this page. And you can see the snowflakes, animated snowflakes here. Now it's a little hard to see because this background of this section is very light. And so uh, with the white snowflakes, now you can see it better here. I'm scrolling all the way down the page. We have snowflakes top to bottom. Very cool. And then I'm going to click on over to some other pages here from our other past tutorials. Let me refresh the cache here. And now you can see the animated falling snowflakes on this page too. So it's on every page of the website. But as the uh, tutorial, you can see the next section shows you how to add it to just one page. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to add that to just one page. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this and click save and then I'm going to go over to pages and I'm going to go to our page for uh, the demo of this tutorial now I'm going to add it to the page settings which is right here there's a custom CSS box here and what that does is it adds custom CSS just like under Divi theme options except it only applies it to this page here which is really handy. I'm going to hit save and then update. And then let's go back over to this page here. Now I'm going to refresh it. You're not going to see any changes because uh, we had the snowflakes on every page and now it's just on this page. So this looks the same, but when we go over to here and it's still cached, so I'm going to refresh this to show you that now it's only on this one single page. So pretty easy. Uh, it shows it top to bottom, very straightforward. Uh, the next thing I want to show you is how to add it to just certain section rows or modules. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here and remove all of this and click Save. And just I'm gonna update this so we can show the difference. Now going back over to the blog post, the next step is to add it to just different uh, section rows or modules. Now this part you do have to be using the Divi theme for. Now 
I'm going to copy this code in its entirety, and we are going to paste it the same place where we pasted it when we were applying it to every page. So again, you can put it in your style style.css file for if you're using a child theme, or where we're putting it here, which is the custom CSS box in Divi theme options. Now I hit save, and as soon as that finishes, I'm going to come over to here. Nothing's going to happen. You can see because it's adding the code, but we haven't applied it to anything yet. So now what we need to do is there's this class right here, Divi Life Snow. So just copy this bold text in its entirety. Make sure you grab all of it and don't add a space after it or anything. And now we're going to go back to our page that we want to add the animated falling snowflakes to. So that's this page here. And I'm going to add it to two sections. I'm going to add it to this top section here. And then I'm going to add it to right here, my latest work. So we can sh show you what that looks like. So I'm going to add it to the entire section. But again, you can do it to just um, a uh, row or module if you'd like. So make sure you paste it into the CSS class field, not into ID. It will not work. That's, uh, that's, just, that's different. So go ahead and click Save. And then I'm going to go ahead and put it right here into this section as well because we have that dark background. So it's going to be really cool to see that there. And then go ahead and click Update. Give that a second for the page to load. OK, now I'm going to refresh this. And you can see we have snowflakes here. Now it's white background, so it's hard to see anyways, but there are no snowflakes here, but we do have them here. And then if I scroll down, there's nowhere else on the page. So very, very cool. Uh, it's cool to be able to, to see that. Now I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna remove it from here, from the entire, oops, the entire section. And then I'm gonna apply it just to an image so you can see what that looks like. So I'll do it just to uh, the first two just for demonstration purposes. I won't add it to all of them. And click update. Wait for that to finish saving the page. Now let's go ahead and refresh this. So now it's showing just in these images. It stays completely contained, does not go outside of that module, which is the image module. So very cool effect that you can add there, keep it contained. And then of course we still have it in this entire section here. So uh, very cool. It's uh, easy to implement as you can see, just copy and pasting some code. Uh, and so then we have a section that talks about how it works. Now uh, it's very simple to understand when you're looking at the code. Uh, so this first section here, is what adds the images to the page. Now you'll notice we have three different background images and essentially what it is is we have three different images that have, uh, I don't know, somewhere around 10 to 12 snowflakes each. And they're four unique snowflakes that we added to the image and then we duplicated them, make them with slightly different sizes and then scattered them across the image. It's just a rectangle image. And then what we did is we duplicated those and then made uh, two variations. So each three of these images are all unique. The, the, they have the same snowflakes, but just in, in different uh, configuration. They're scattered differently. So that's what uh, allows it to look more unique when it's falling. It doesn't look like it's one of the same snowflake just duplicated, all falling in the same way. We have them falling slightly different speeds, different directions, different sizes, different shapes. It makes it a lot more unique, which is really cool. And so... Um, so that's what this first step does is it using the um, before CSS selector, it adds the code to the background of the body section uh, for, for this first part where you're adding it to the entire page. Uh, and then some CSS that just uh, makes it look properly. And then the animations here. So we have the animation that's turned on 15 seconds for the entire animation and it loops infinitely. So it's just going to continue doing it rather than just playing it once. And then the keyframes are part of that animation right here. And the keyframes is what tells the snow animation what to do. So at 0%, it tells it where it's going to be. And then um, at 50%, it tells it where it's going to be. And there's, you can see there's three sections. There's the first, then we have the second, and then we have the third. Now you'll notice we have three background images. And so that's why there's three sections. So at 50% of the animation, which is 50% uh, of 15 seconds, what is that? Seven and a half seconds. The first image is going to be at 500 pixels. 
um, both uh, up and down. The second one is going to be at 100 and 200, so it's not per falling perfectly uh, straight. And the second one is at negative 100 and 150. So they're going different directions, different speeds uh, as they're progressing through the animation. And, and then at 100%, which is at 15 seconds of the animation, it shows where it's each of the images is going to be. And so that's what gives it the cool effect. And then obviously, the each of the images is... Um, duplicated so it repeats it background repeats so that it covers the whole screen so um, and then these are for the different browser types uh, Firefox um, Microsoft and then WebKit which is Chrome and Safari so that is how the animation works and uh, we have um, I link to the vector that I use to create those images custom. And so I, you can download this for free. And then I took some of those snowflakes um, because there's, I, I think, three or four different uh, unique snowflakes in there. So two unique full snowflakes and then a couple of dots and different shapes snow falling. And so I took those and, and made them unique. And then, as I mentioned, duplicated those images and, and made them different configurations to, to make the snow falling look really unique. So that is how it works. So you can download uh, this one and, and do your own configuration. You can uh, find on free pick, just type in snowflakes and find some other unique snowflakes that you can use. So uh, very, very cool, very easy to do. Um, or you can just copy the code as is, of course, and just um, uh, use the, the exact configuration that I have here in the tutorial. One thing I do wanna mention though is, as you can see, uh, these are linked to Dropbox files. And so it's pulling in a, uh, from Dropbox. And so what you might wanna do is download the images so that uh, you can um, uh, add them to your own website so that it is faster. So I put them in a zip file. So you can just click on download the images, download the zip file, uh, unzip them, add them to your own site and just replace the URLs to the URL pass of your own site and that'll make it load faster. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions, of course, uh, write them in the comments on the blog post or on YouTube, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye.